Hey guys, Dr. Tim with Hedgehog Strong. Your do it daily video, day 25. We only have five days left in November, which means five more videos. So, before I get into today's video, if there's anything that you want me to do a video about, let me know. And also, I'm gonna be doing a video on Thanksgiving You'll never guess what it's about, but I want you guys to send me videos of things that you are thankful for. Just real quick, I'd love to put it into a little video montage, I think that's the word, just of some of my friends, my family, my followers, and what they are thankful for. I think that would be kind of fun. So if you're up for it, send me a video of what you are thankful for. You can send it to uh, my email is drtim at hedgehogstrong.com. I would love to put those videos together and get something going. Um, so anyways, today's video. There's a reason why I don't do a lot of videos that are about mobility and stretching. Because there's a question that is coming up more and more and more in my field, which is, should we always stretch a tight muscle? The answer is no. Not all muscles are tight because there's a shortened muscle that needs to be lengthened. Some muscles are tight because it's a tone. The nervous system is engaging that muscle more and it's often doing so to stabilize something. So if we try and sabotage that by stretching it out, we may be creating an instability or adding to an instability. So don't always think tight muscles need to be stretched. A Quick anecdotal story just from last night. I was treating a patient last night, new patient, chronic hamstring tightness, coming in with calf, calf spasms, and he's never been able to touch his toes. He's stretched, he's a runner, he's stretched a ton. We start looking at how he moves, and he has no hip hinging, no forward, no proper forward bending. What that's gonna do, if you try to bend forward without a hip hinge, a hip hinge is this, but going back, as you bend forward, that's a hip hinge. If you try bending forward without that, like so, your brain is gonna kick on your hamstring muscles to act like guide wires, right? They're like, whoa, well, that is not safe, that's not stable, let's start stabilizing him, and it's gonna kick these suckers on. Loop, a dysfunctional movement pattern can happen for many, many reasons. Disuse, injury, lots of different things. So. You know, a lot of the people I see who are just desk workers, they've lost an ability to properly hip hinge and have developed this kind of chronic tightness and inability to touch their toes. So with him last night, we just ran through a quick drill and grooved that movement pattern and had him touching his toes. And his homework now is to do that, change how he moves, change his movement pattern, and I pretty much guarantee that he's gonna stop having the hamstring, chronic hamstring tightness. Now, a real quick note on that. He has homework now for self-treatment. I'm obviously a huge fan of self-treatment. What I am not a huge fan of is self-diagnosis. There are a lot of things that contribute to tightness, to stiffness, to pain. So when you're looking for a solution to your problem, find out what your problem is first. Once you have that solution, self-treatment is necessary. You have to be involved with your care to get better, but work with someone first as far as getting the answers to what's going on. All right, so that being said, hip hinging. One thing that you can kind of check to, to see if you hip hinge, stand close to a wall and try and bend over and touch your toes. If you do so, without touching the wall, you're not hip hinging. What you wanna see is a booty bump. Walk away a little bit, just like so. Keep a pretty neutral spine, keep a neutral spine, keep the core engaged, and just work and see how far you can get away from the wall. Keeping my leg, you can't see my legs, but my, my legs are straight, I'm not bending my knees, my core's tight. Just so work on that booty bump, okay? So no longer calling it a hip hinge, I'm calling it a booty bump. Anyways, 
That's it. To be well, you gotta move well. Cheers.